is month 11 of the year challenge. So that was a challenge that I set myself at around the 28th of July 2018 to grow a beard for an entire year, really with minimal to no trimming of the length. I set some various rules about being able to trim in the sides and today I decided to make use of that quite a bit because I trimmed the sides considerably and it was because it was just ballooning out into this unmanageable mess. I think what you need to understand is when you set out on one of these growing challenges is that your hair takes an absolute beating and it kind of leads me to the point of where I would never recommend that any of you undertake a strict year and that's a year where you go through it without trimming whatsoever because your hair takes an absolute battering. I managed to, to trim back the hair using scissors and trimmers I managed to get some of this recorded some of this footage captured for you so that it can help you manage your own beard at home so you don't have to go to the barber shop this will give you a bit of a guide of how to take in these areas bring a little bit more of a shape to it no length was taken off whatsoever that for me kind of does away with the year challenge if I start taking the length away or the support here so it was kind of cosmetic really so just above the the, the lips really this sort of triangle area here that's the only bit I really touched and I took away some loose sort of you know the crazy hairs they stick out everywhere because they were driving me insane and I've been wanting to get at them for months so let's go in to this sort of tutorial now so I start off by combing the beard combing the beard is is vital you need to comb it into the shape you want your beard to kind of sit in once you've got rid of these hairs, these whatever the length is that you're wanting to get rid of. For me here, it was just a lot at the sides because it was out here. You can see that it was crazy long, crazy wide. And I just needed to get it to sit right, get it to feel right. I need to get comfortable with it. From there, all I needed to do was pull out the hair that I thought needed to be trimmed. And straight away I could see where it needed to be done. So you pull the hair out and gradually just take a little bit off. Don't go crazy here. Just take bits off and don't just work on one side. Do a bit on your left side, move over to your right. Constantly play around with the hair either side of the beard. And that way you're not going to get uh, a beard trim that doesn't do you justice, one that doesn't sort of give you an awkward shape one side because you focused on it compared to the other. So just go ahead, take a little bit off, keep working at it, take a bit off at a time and you'll suddenly see that you've probably got a few longer hairs that you can just quickly chop away that aren't adding any value to the beard, no support other than just sort of sticking out when the wind blows and once again jump sides. And I think using scissors is always a good thing to do with a beard. It gets rid of any sort of flyaway hairs and you've got a little bit more finesse. I've got a lot of curly sideburn hairs that I think scissors just add a lot more value to the cutting experience. I can get in there, I can take a few out around the moustache, under the moustache, along the cheek lines, like I can get a lot of hairs that I would be too scared to get with my Brio beard skit trimmers in case I slip slightly those hairs and my beard is pretty much destroyed. So with the scissors I've got a lot more control as someone that isn't a barber, a beard barber, I don't have any sort of training this does a really good job and you can just go over the beard really fast actually you, you, you'll kind of get into a flow get into the the swing of things and you'll you kind of just see all these hairs sticking out out of place just jump in take them out it, 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 it's fairly simple so 
once you've done all of that, you can once again reassess the beard. What does it look like? And I forgot to say, you should be looking into a mirror full on like this, so you can see the proportions of your beard. And once you've done that again, once you've done the initial cut, this is what I'm talking about. You'll see more hair that isn't really adding value. And once again, you're combing it back into place. And I mean, I went quite ruthless just chopping massive chunks of hair out here. I mean, I had the confidence that I was doing the right thing and this hair was just absent. It wasn't adding weight to the beard. It wasn't adding structure. It was just, if I wanted a beard to come out massively wide, then yeah, I should have left it. But for me, I just want a more sort of, you know, a little bit more like this, what I've got going on right now. So this this worked for me. So if you do want that massive wide beard, taking out the sides, don't do it. Just leave it to grow. You don't want to touch that. So once again, just working on sort of the cheek line now, I kind of treated the beard as a triangle, only taking out that weight here. None of the length obviously was gonna go whatsoever and still hasn't gone. There's no way I'm taking any length off this beard anytime soon. Scissors are great, they're very versatile. You can get a lot of hairs away that are causing you a lot of stress, a lot of bother, and it makes a big difference to the overall aesthetic, the look, the feel of the beard. And to be honest, my friends, that's as simple as it is. It's not really crazy, it's not ultra stressful. All I urge you to do is take your time, be patient with the trim, treat it sensibly, treat it as though it's something important, don't have distractions, focus 100% on just trimming the beard, taking a bit off each side if that's what you want to do, and never rush it. And always take a little bit less off than you think. There's so many times where people have just, and they've lost all that growth. And it's quite sad, this takes a long time to do, a lot of patience, and it can really dishearten you. It can really dishearten you, and you tend to want to go back to a short style, even though really what you want is that long, full beard. So stick it out, my friends. Take it easy, and let me know in the comments below if this provided any value, if you've got any use out of it. Share your photos with me over on Instagram at underscore beards the underscore. The, the link's in the description. Yeah, I'll see you very soon, my friends. Goodbye.